Today's cardinal lesson is about short-term care insurance. And what short-term care will do for you and your money is it'll buy your family some time if you're having to come out of pocket and pay for long-term care expenses, really just out of your savings. So today we're showing you a couple of different examples that are in my workbook. This workbook is the complete cardinal guide to planning for and living in retirement, the workbook edition. We've got examples in here of at age 55 and age 70 of some setup benefits and premiums. So the one nice thing about short-term care insurance is there's no waiting period. So if you've looked at long-term care policies before and you had to wait 60 days or 90 days before you'd collect, uh, most of these come with the option of a zero-day elimination period or waiting period. And then the maximum benefit period is a year. Some folks say, well, that's not long enough. Well, it, it really isn't. But a year is a long time, and it gives families or people who are paying for it themselves the opportunity to let the insurance company pay for it while they're organizing their finances in such a way that they can actually pay for the care they need. So if we understand what short-term care is, now we're going to compare these two policies. This one is more comprehensive than this one on the right. And what the starters is it has a separate benefit for confinement and then and home health care. Whereas this policy is going to let you use the same $100 a day for 360 days. And it's going to do that. And you can spend it either on confinement or home health care. So this policy has almost $100,000 that it can pay out. And it's really over two years because you can't collect both benefits at the same time. Whereas this policy is not going to pay out more than $36,000 in any given year um, for care. Now, both of these policies share the fact that they're not as hard to qualify for as long-term care insurance. There's a whole lot of people that we've had turned down for long-term care or never even applied but we were able to get them a short-term care policy. So since these are two different companies, we really have about five or six. So we can run the gamut with people with different conditions and different situations. We kind of know which company we can get them involved with. But this one is a little easier to qualify than this one, unless you're overweight. It's just kind of ironic. Is this one has no height and weight, and it has simple health questions and simple underwriting. Um, but it's going to be a little more stringent than this one is. This one is actually pretty easy to qualify for. Now, this is just showing you the premiums between This one also doesn't have a couple's discount. So something that short-term care carries over from long-term care insurance is they give you a bit of a discount of husband and wife or two people uh, that are partners uh, are buying it and they live in the same household, they get a discount. Whereas this one, that you pay the price and it doesn't make any difference for the male or female, this is the premium. So a couple of places that this will fit and for the clients it will fit with, number one is the people that have decided to self-insure and then once we're doing a financial plan for them and they really look at the context of that, they're seeing that it may make sense to let the insurance company pay for it for several months up to a year while they're getting their financial act together to throw the money at long-term care. The second place that it works for is for people that were turned down for long-term care insurance and they're just trying to get some coverage and you can get a year's worth of coverage under these policies. So both of these examples are given in my book. You can find out more about my book at cardinalguide.com. Um, our phone number is written right here. I'm Hans Scheil, and I thank you for listening.